Hey Collective. So I'm just sitting there in my sofa in the silence and I hear what are these witches doing while during the 8-8 eight, eight portal. So I'm like, oh God, here we go. Here's a message. So we're going to pull some energy. We're going to see what's going on. Okay. Um, let's see what's happening here. What are these witches doing, Spirit? What is it that you want to show me? Okay, we're going to, we're going to pull some from different decks, guys. What are you trying to show me, Holy Spirit? I'm calling my beautiful ancestors of the highest white light, only of the highest white light, nothing other but the highest white light to draw close to me at this time. Holy Spirit, my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful ascending master, Yeshua, Jesus Christo, I need your guidance right now. Archangel Michael asks that you place a seal of protection around me as I open myself to channel these messages. What is it that the collective needs to know? What are these witches doing, dur doing during the 8-8 portal? What are these witches doing? Leo energy. Playful. Differences. Okay. I see three cats. Let's see what else I see here. Loyalty. Okay. And what else? One more. Mm. Somebody from a coven of witches no longer sees things the way the other people see things. But they're having a hard time with some kind of loyalty to this group. There's some kind of difference here. They're no longer seeing things black and white. Strength. Summon. Complicated. Things have gotten complicated within a, go a coven of witches, I'm hearing. One of them may have had some kind of like um, epiphany, I heard. And they're stuck in between being loyal to this group of people. They no longer want to use their gift for the dark, I'm hearing. What's the difference, Holy Spirit? One is stepping outside the box. See these two cats? There's some kind of difference. One of them is stepping outside. What is the difference, Holy Spirit? Show us the cards we need to see. I'm here. They're asking why are we doing this? Why? Why are we doing this? My left ears itching why are we doing this what was once a solid connection group coven is no longer solid one wants to use their gift one is stepping outside of this loyalty i just got a whiff of cold air what's the difference holy spirit <laughs> the book of shadows secret and the reverse somebody does not want to do this no more somebody could have gotten visited by one of their ancestors I was like uh 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 Something got real serious. Yep, yeah, something got real serious. Somebody took their magic and used it for the dark. What I'm getting is 
I'm I'm being reminded of a TV show I used to watch when I was younger of a group of witches. They were young, just learning about magic. And then that one person came into their coven. That person was dark. And became the leader because she was the darkest. She was the most fearful, the, the fearful one. That one was learned new magic more. But somebody from this group doesn't like the way this person plays with their magic. Somebody from this group does not like the way this person plays with their magic and they're trying to clear it. Clean it. A clearance. I'm hearing righting their wrongs. So we have a coven of witches. One is stepping outside. One is not being obedient. One no longer wants to be loyal to this group. I'm hearing it's going too far. Show me this loyal, this masculine. This could either mean they're doing this to a masculine or somebody's getting in their masculine energy in this group and is seeing things differently now. Yep, guidance. Homecoming. Mm-hmm. Somebody could have gotten visited by an ancestor is what I'm getting. An ancestor could have came to them in a tarot reading. Maybe they're a tarot card reader. Maybe they got guidance from a tarot card reader. Right? That their birth right was not supposed to be used in darkness. Mm-hmm. Fertility. Belfin. What is Belfin? Let's look this up real quick, collective. Belton honors life. On May Eve, the sexuality of life and the earth is at its peak. Somebody could be born in May. Abundant of fertility on all levels is the central theme. The maiden goddess has reached her full fullness. She is the manifestation of growth and renewal, floral and goddess of spring, the May queen, the May bride. And then spring. May is in spring, I believe. Somebody's realizing that this group of people, where it started off as child play, learning magic, reading tarot, lighting up candles, that somebody else is using their, their gifts for the dark. And somebody's ancestor has visited them to let them know, hello, no, 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 no. What's going on here? Let's get some from here. Birth chart. What did I just say? Their birthright. Did I not just say that? Your birthright is not to use your gifts for the darkness, aura, 
Yeah, somebody has, somebody's figuring something out here. About a coven of witches. High-ranked spirituality. You're not supposed to be using your gifts for the dark. Your gifts are supposed to be used for the light. You're not using your birthright correctly. Somebody's having a homecoming. Somebody is about to outrank this dark person that uses their gifts for the dark. Because they, they, they dare to be different. Lion of Judah. What did I just say? What's going on? What's going on with these witches during the 8-8 eight, eight portal? The Lion of Judah. They've awakened somebody's ancestors. Somebody's ancestor has been awakened. What the fuck? did I just say because somebody's baby chosen one was using their gifts for the dark adjustments adjustments needed to be made here ask for help they I'm telling you they summoned their ancestors somebody summoned their ancestors for guidance Under, underworld. I can never make this up. I'm saying what's going on with this book of shadows in the reverse, the underworld. One is of the dark, one is of the light. Somebody's electronics could be messing up, glitching. Mm -hmm. Somebody could have seen a rainbow or somebody could be seeing something totally different right now. Watching with a camera, some kind of web, maybe the internet. Somebody, somebody's chosen one was about to be con their aura was going to be consumed through this darkness, and somebody's ancestors were woken up to come in and help this person to realize, hey. No, 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 no. You're not supposed to be using your gifts for this. This person didn't have discernment. Who is this dark person over here in the underworld? Yeah, because... They thought that they were using light magic. Whoever this other person is that came into this coven was using dark magic. Somebody awoke in somebody's ancestors. Yep, deception. Sneaky behavior. I know what I'm telling you guys. It's lies. Lies I'm hearing. Somebody thought that they were just fiddling. I never used that word fiddling. Maybe somebody uses that word fiddling. Fiddling around and just play. They thought it was play. But when two or two two or more people come together to start fiddling around, they're creating magic. I'm being hugged. My hairs are all standing up. Something's being illuminated. Mm-hmm. This is what they thought was child's play is what I'm getting. This is not gonna hurt nobody. Somebody in this in this coven was of the dark is being illuminated. The line of Judah. Somebody was being loyal to somebody of the dark. Mm-hmm. Somebody doesn't want to play no more. Maybe this person that was visited by their ancestors, maybe they started experiencing paranormal activity in their home electronics.
cameras glitching, something happening with the web. The ancestors were trying to get their attention. We have the sun, the strength, the line of Judah with the masculine. I'm being hugged. My hairs are all standing up collective. So I got energy all around me. Ooh, snaps. Show me this underworld, people. I'm hearing that whoever this person is, this could be a cancer. Whoever this person is, they always knew that they were different in their family. Like when they think of somebody, that person would call. When they think of somebody, that person would show up. When they, like they always knew like, hey, like I'm connected, but they just didn't know how connected. Maybe they started off just reading tarot, had their homecoming, things started blossoming, a birthright, a birthright. Show me this line of Judah. Yep, their birthright, their anointment, the divine blessing them with their gift was at, at just opening, just starting. And you know, when, when we're uneducated, we're not aware of these spiritual things happening, right? Of spirituality, we become um, easy to target from the dark, right? Oh, that's not going to hurt nobody. Don't worry. We can light a candle, say a chant, do this. It's, we're just playing. We're fiddling around here. Well, somebody was fiddling around. Possibly sending spell work to a masculine. Somebody who's connected to the divine. Clearly, this, this person is high ranking. High ranking. Their birth chart. The sun, the masculine, the lion of Judah. Mm-hmm. They didn't realize that they were being worked. Whoever this dark person was, they realized that this person had gifts before they they knew how powerful this person's gifts were before this person realized how powerful their gifts were. Max and Spivet, what's this Eight of Pentacles? The Seven of Pentacles to the Ten of Swords. The Chariot. I'm telling you, what I'm getting is that this, th th let's say that there's three people here, right? Two of them are just starting off playing with tarot. Maybe, you know, hey, I'm really connected. I'm, you know, you know, just learning little things here and there. You know, cleansing, maybe saging, walking around with crystals. Little things, right? And then somebody comes into their group. They think that this person is just learning about this stuff too. They didn't realize that this person was actually somebody of the dark. They knew more than what they thought they did. So they bring this person into their coven. Whoever this person is of the dark knew that there was this one person here that had a high ranking in their birth chart, that their aura was the rainbow. 
was enough energy that they needed to cast whatever this thing is that they, they threw towards this person, this masculine. I feel like this person of the dark has been watching this person of the light for so long. So they come being deceptive, offering this, pretending to be this, just learning about magic. Hey, I got a book of shadows I just started using. I just started writing down little spells, you know. There, These people over here didn't think that it was something big because they believed this person. The four of cups. Why why is this sticking out to me? Maybe they realized this dark person realized that they they were really self-absorbed, but not only that, but more if I don't get somebody that has an aura of rainbow, a high birth ranking to help me with whatever this magic shit is that they were doing over here, they were trying to do. Whatever this magic was, it wouldn't it wouldn't work. So they move forward to find a victim. Somebody who's just learning their gifts. But somebody whose gifts are high ranking. Whose whose aura, whose energy is that potent. Who's that anointed in order for this to work. Show me this line of Judah. The Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Whoever this person is that has this high ranking, this this person has. They 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 started manifesting before they realized they were manif. They knew there was something like anytime they would think of something, it would come to them. They just didn't, I feel like they didn't realize how high ranking their energy was. Animals would come up to them. This person, anything that they would ask for, spirit would always make sure that they come to them. They were really tapped into the divine. I feel like this person is supposed to live this lifetime experiencing this happiness, this abundance, this rainbow of blessings because of their ranking. I feel like this person's had many lifetimes where they've had to battle and fight and use learn lessons. But this lifetime was more of a homecoming for them. But then here comes this underworld person. I don't feel like this person, this one over here, this high ranking person, they didn't have enough time to realize their full potential before this dark person realized it first. Could be somebody in a fucking family. Somebody's family realized that they had a high ranking birthright, that they were anointed, they were special, they were the divine's chosen. This is crazy. Could you imagine a aunt, an uncle, a mom, a brother, a father using you since your child, waiting for you to come of age to use you? The devil will the devil will use the people that's closest to you. Yeah. They came they came right towards you in the reverse. Something backfired. Somebody's ancestors were awakened. Somebody didn't see something for what it was. Maybe it was complicated because my family would never do that to me. Yes, the fuck they will. Yes, the fuck they will. 
if you're being used by the divine, what makes you think Satan won't use your family to bring you down? Adjustments. Spirit had to come in. Somebody's ancestors were awakened. Because I feel like whoever this person is of the light, their life was supposed to be of just manifesting. Because I feel like they've already went through these lessons many lifetimes. They fought the fight already. And this lifetime, it was supposed to be just rainbows. But somebody realized something like, hey, wait a minute. Things are things are happening. Electronics are happening. Paranormal stuff are happening. So they ask for help. They ask their ancestors to guide them. Hi, puppy. Where's that spaghetti? Con eso. Pa. Justice. I can never make this up. I can never make this up. I'm, I know what I'm telling you guys. Somebody was supposed to have a life of just manifesting. Living a, a, a fruitful life this time. Manifesting abundance. And somebody was using this person's energy for the dark. What's going on with this coven of witches, Holy Spirit? Death. Somebody may literally lose their life. Yep. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Holy Spirit, I love you. Karma. Could be a sibling. Sending conflict to a masculine. No? Somebody's life is about to change here. Could be somebody's sibling, somebody's family. I'm hearing why does she always get to have the abundant life where somebody had not the abundant life? Prosperity. This is crazy. Yep, invocation, manifestation, a ritual. Somebody was using somebody's divine light to manifest in a ritual way but it what this person of the light didn't realize that i don't think i think that they were just coming to realize that they had some kind of manifestation powers they didn't realize it then it, there, somebody came into their click and started using their light to manifest for the underworld i know what i'm telling you guys Somebody lost their protection. Oh my God, the ancestors are not playing. Okay, somebody's ancestors were woken up. I'm telling you guys, please listen to me. And whoever this dark person is, they're not protected. They are not protected. 
This person is undergoing karma for manipulating and using this person who was just awakening to their gifts. Homecomings. This person didn't realize. They didn't realize who they were. Paranoia. What's this like King of Pentacles? Show me this King of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. Let's get another deck. Why is this King of Pentacles paranoid about this Queen of Wands, Holy Spirit? Yep. This Queen of Wands is now using it. Look at how she's looking out. She's now using, she's in her Queen of Swords energy. I feel like this is the powerful manifester. She's now using her discernment like, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Look at how she's looking like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm not doing that. Let me connect with my higher self real quick. This person, this King of Pentacles is paranoid that this Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords is going to realize that they were from the underworld. Sent. I can never, I can never make this up. Holy Spirit. The betrayal. There was some kind of injustice happening here. This masculine could be the one that was doing this. It could be this masculine. This masculine could be this king of pentacles that is highly paranoid right now because they realize they came up against Somebody who is of the light, the line of Judah. Ooh, snaps. They're, they're realizing something here. We should have never touched this one. I'm hearing. When they thought they were using somebody, they realized they were meant to find this person over here of the light. This is how Spirit found them. Ooh, what is this? This person has been um, shape-shifting. This masculine was being used by the underworld. Yep, Emperor in the reverse. Maybe this is who's waking up. Maybe in this group, this person is waking up to realizing Take what resonates, guys. The Empress in the reverse. Maybe it was a husband and wife that called in this, this person of the light. There's a group here waking up to something here. Mm-hmm. Where they thought that this person was just a child walking into their gifts, they're realizing this person was not a child. Just this person has is highly protected. 
Show me this Queen of Wands. This could be a husband and a wife doing this to siphon the energy of this person who was just coming into their gifts. Yep, some kind of partnership. Whoever this Queen of Wands is, they, she's not partnering with these people no more. Mm -mm. Show me this Queen of Wands, Holy Spirit. Yep, she's the one that's anointed. This is the anointed one. They revealed themselves. Oh, yep. You caught a glimpse. Rewind. You caught a glimpse of this people. Whoever you are, you caught a glimpse of this group. This group could be a husband, a wife. They could have portrayed themselves to be this. But you realize they're everything but that. Could be a mother, grandmother, a son, a mother and a son. You know, just a family pretending to be something that they're not. You caught something. You seen something. Maybe you started having paranormal activity happening in your house. Something with a family. An uncle, an aunt, a sister, a brother. 10-10. Ten, ten. Something is coming to an end. Man, show me what's going to happen to these people, Spirit. That's all I want to see. Show me this. Show me what's going to happen to these people. Their free will, the decisions that they've made on manifesting off of your energy. Three of Swords, while you're being guided away from these people. These people are going to learn a lesson. See, you were used to teach these people a lesson. Yep, healing. I'm telling you, something from their past. Because I feel like they've been doing this to other people. They come in, they act like they're these giving people, but they're not. They act like, oh, you're very special. They act real, I don't, I don't know how to get this out of me. Holy Spirit. And then they come in and they're like, that's the one. That's the one we got to use. She's the one that has the gift. And here they come thinking that you're just this newbie. They don't realize the high-ranking ancestors that follow behind you, how anointed you are. You come from the line of Judah. You are that, you are that bitch. This is you. But I don't think you realize who you were, whoever you are. This is what I got. These people got some shit coming towards them. Trapped. They done put themselves in this own, their own energy. Oh, shit. I heard people aren't even going to recognize them. I'm getting out of this energy. This is what I have for you guys. Love and light.